really makes us probably be even more on our toes and in being towards the top of the industry or, or being as progressive as we can and as conscious minded to you know the public as we can with our product so you, you kinda you know as we drove across the pins and everything it's all built for calving for you know working cattle for production but it's also built so that we can take people through the tour and they can safely see the production and see it in a good healthy manner mm -hmm. so that's been the design of this um, it has not been Oh, we want an event center, a fancy ranch. Oh, let's put a cow herd with it. The focus has always been on the Angus cow herd. And, and that will, if you ask Tom Ames today, that's what comes first. Mm -hmm. Cows. He says, the buildings, the land, everything is second. He goes, I want cows. I enjoy getting sale catalogs. I enjoy looking at EPDs, playing with matings. You know, and it's not just, well, this is a good sire to use because everybody else is using it, but what did she raise the last few years? How did they pan out? Um, we've we've changed probably more so at Andy, but the mindset has changed as far as you don't you don't have to have 20 different sire groups and a couple calves out of each one. We kind of select you know uh, the blue stem bull that we got at Buford's um, front man. Uh, the Rimrock bull we've got, you know, there's about five bulls that we really AI on the big group of cows. That's going to be our big sire groups. Where we get into the CC and sevens and the Bismarcks and you know some of these other bulls consensus and stuff. Those are going to be on a lot of our embryo transplant work. You know, that's the the flavor of the year, or what's popular then, and are they going to be cattle that survive out here? We don't know that. And, and it makes it, and Andy sees it now because you're running. We're not, we're not big enough to have just big volume like maybe an Express or 44 or Whitestone Krebs or, or Basin or somebody. Mm -hmm. But you're bigger than the smaller guy that's got maybe a hundred cows and he's going to keep 20 heifers and he's going to sell 20 and you got to have 20 that are going to be marketable. Um, when, when some of these guys come in and want to buy five or ten or fifteen females, if you can have them out of a sire group, they like that. But we don't need a hundred out of one sire group.